in my previous video uh, we had uh, discussed about creating virtual machines in amazon aws and uh, doing the prerequisites that needed for http 2.6 installation so we have co configured the local repository and uh, repo is configured under this host so master and everything is under var ww html i used web service as uh, I mean the file sharing media for my local repository so the first thing uh, in this video I'm going to uh, install and con uh, do the installation and configuration of Ambari server and agent so we already did the installation of uh, this repository and uh, let's uh, verify that Ambari repository so you can use this one right so you need to use uh, this name okay so this is your HTTP root so this directory you need not to pass it to this one and uh, go to this go inside that and stop whenever you see a directory called repo data so you need this path entire path and uh, copy it into uh, some uh, some location or some some notepad file okay so replace this with our local IP or local host name because if I use public IP so my, I'm not opted for an elastic IP so my IP address may change so master one dot hadoop dot com right so I'm going to create an uh, repository local repo go to var sorry slash etc m dot repos dot t so here you can see there are a lot of uh, already existing repo don't do anything on that so this is red hat or centos repo file so create a new repo with name ambari dot repo just write then with an anchor bracket ambari then write the name equal to ambari 2.6.3 uh, okay sorry ambari 2.6.0 the same one 2.6.0 then base url so this is the main uh, parameter so base url is nothing but this one then uh, gpg check so this is the file integrity check so i can you can just turn off it because we are under percent sure the whatever the packages so we have downloaded is correct so save that then now do the command m clean all then m make cache so you need to execute it with the root access or with whatever the user with the sudo so because this command require super user access so you can see some warnings here some of the repo I mean which is already available is not able to connect so this is something like lovely uh, systems so go to the directory etc m dot repos dot d okay so open that right just disable that then execute this command again so it will uh, I mean most probably this error will go away so also you can see Ambari 2.6 uh, available showing as available so now uh, th this is working fine okay so you can just check yum uh, repo list it shows all the repositories and uh, the package is also showing fine so I need to uh, add this Ambari dot repo across all the nodes because my uh, nodes also require this file and uh, when uh, we are going to install Ambari agent so open the file etc m dot repos dot d Ambari dot repo open this this one save it so update it across all the nodes I have updated this across all the machines 
and uh, disable this lovely repo rpm so make sure m uh, clean all and uh, do m make cache and uh, please make sure it's working fine without any uh, issues and also you are able to uh, view the ambari uh, packages so m clean all do it across all the machine m make cache so execute uh, m repo list command from uh, all the machine and make sure you are able to connect to ambari repository so now go to the chart okay so i'm installing ambari server on master one and agent on all the machine so go to the master machine and do m f n y install ambari server so this will install ambari server and its dependent packages right so along with that it's installing postgres also Ambari server has installed on my master machine. So next I need to install agent on all the machine. So I can I can have two options. So one is do the agent installation manually. So if you have multiple number of nodes, then it will be a bit challenging. So go to each and every node and do the agent installation. So but you can use Ambari to do the agent installation across all the machine. But that is again uh, you need to have a user id with the sudo access and uh, you need that uh, private key for that user and that user has to be added in sudo with the no password option uh, uh, this this many uh, challenges are there so i can say the overhead not challenges uh, but if you are working in a production and i mean the enterprise level there may be a lot of uh, approvals for that to get uh, this firewall port open etc but here we can also do the agent installation manually so just do that with m hyphen y install ambari hyphen agent so this will install ambari agent so you need agent across all the machines right so again you can choose uh, any one of these options so either manual approach or ambari based approach so i am opting this manual approach okay so worker one i need to update So worker one is showing that lovely repo related issue. Open that file etc m dot repos dot d. Then disable this one. Now next step, what I'm doing here is so I'm just transferring JDK and JC files from my local system, and I upload it to. Uh, here by using WinSCP, so you can see here JCE and the JDK. These two files have, I mean, uh, copied from my local system and uh, which was di I downloaded. So you can go to the Oracle website and get these two files. So I'm just copying this to master two dot Hadoop dot com. So similarly, I have to copy to all the node because JC and uh, I mean this JDK is needed everywhere. I mean, I'm doing a manual approach. So manually copying this JDK files and manually installing it. So I have to do it for all the machines. So worker one, worker two and worker three also. So I have to copy this JC file also. This file is very important and needed when you are enabling Kerberos. So SCP. So master2.hadoop.com. 
colon slash root and uh, do it for all the machines master 3 master 4 and master uh, master 3 and uh, worker 1 worker 2 and worker 3 also yeah next i can uh, do the installation of uh, jdk so i have jdk uncompressed here and uh, make sure i have a slash user java directory not available so i'm creating slash user java so and uh, that's it so the same thing i need to uh, do it across all the nodes so make sure you are uncompressing or i mean the installing in the same uh, location so you need to use the same uh, location uh, in all the machines so do it across one by one so my worker one worker two and worker three so master one master two and master three and uh, do uncompress so uncompress will uh, do the installation so execute this command and this also has to be executed from all the machines so installation uh, jdk installation is done so next uh, we can update this jc uh, policy file okay okay so before adding this into uh, this installation location let's check this directory so you need to uncompress uh, this one and uh, keep it inside that so i am using this command for uncompressing so unzip then this is the location so use that um, file name not matched yeah, right oh, one second okay so it, it's able to connect right so just use the password same whatever the password you have typed but i don't know why uh, this option is not working but uh, this way it's working fine so just uh, finish that so now just note down this value so i have a username is ambari then password is right so in the master machine where we have configured our Ambari server so you need to install the driver for this mysql mysql hyphen connector hyphen java So this is completed so you can use uh, this option 
like a find command to check where where is your uh, connector jar file because uh, while uh, doing the setup ambire server setup you need to um, pass these uh, details right and uh, actually this is actually a symbolic link which uh, will uh, point to the actual file so this is the actual file uh, actual file and this is the symbolic link as far as this is okay and the next step uh, we will uh, do a setup ambire server setup ambire iphone server setup just set enter so here we have to select the option custom jdk then java home so the path where we install the java so slash user java jdk yes so this is the jdk home or java home that's it so advanced database configuration yes so here we have to select this option number three that is mysql if you are using any other database you can select that option so three so the host name where you install uh, this mysql so the host name is this one so master three right so the port that is the default port where mysql is running and again if you want to check you can use netstat Okay, so 3306, correct. So enter. So database name. So what is the name of the database uh, we used? Uh, I think uh, the database name uh, we created. So where is that? Yeah, just a second. This is Ambari DB just use that ambari db and the username is ambari and uh, database password okay uh, it's saying alpha numeric or so here our tool ambari server setup is not accepting uh, this detail so i need to change the password for this ambari uh, here so i have changed uh, this user's password ambari user's password by using uh, this command uh, from uh, mysql prompt um, prompt so the set password for ambari at the password equal to password so this is the password which i am going to use So uh, next, uh, before starting Ambari server, you must run the following script, slash var lib. So this command has to be executed uh, from uh, the, our MySQL. So this file uh, will be available on the machine where you have installed Ambari server, that is on the master one. So I have to go to this ma machine and uh, get this file. Okay, so this is something like a, a <coughs> simple uh, SQL file that is going to create the database and tables, etc. So I mean the tables. So I'm just uh, <coughs> copying these files to master three. Right, so that it, it's there in uh, master three now. So this is the directory, and the full path is looks like. So I need to execute this command from uh, MySQL. So let me connect to MySQL. So MySQL iPhone U Ambari iPhone P use the password. So for executing this, you can use the source command and uh, the complete path to this one. Okay, so before that, <coughs> you need to use um, by the 
db i mean you need to switch to ambari db and then execute this one right so that's it uh, login as the ambari uh, user then once login then uh, switch to the db whatever the db we use then use this uh, source command so it will do set of sql uh, commands so now you can just show tables it will list the lot of tables inside that and now uh, we can go back to the master machine yes proceed with this one yes that's it so now the setup is completed so we can just check service ambari f1 server status first we will check the status so it's not running and then make sure. so start okay so i started but uh, it's uh, not uh, starting properly so looks like some issues so we need to troubleshoot that for troubleshooting go to the slash for log ambari server and uh, get that log file ambari log open that log file come down so it looks like uh, the service is running uh, somehow uh, that uh, timeout due to this timeout it's getting uh, come out even db consistency also ch fine after 50 second either we need to increase this timeout limit okay so let me check i tried with the uh, telnet also this is working so let's uh, try whether ambari is uh, able to prompt so to the public ip address get this so go to this machine http all right 8080 yes it's opening so looks like uh, this is okay so the next step we will uh, configure ambari agent so ambari agent has to point uh, this ambari server okay so for that open the file etc ambari agent conf So open the file and under the server part so here we need to uh, update this i mean the change this local host with the host name where ambari server is running so do it across all the nodes vi slash etc ambari agent conf so use this one and uh, change this local host with uh, the IP address or host name where Ambari server is running. So repeat this for other nodes also. So now uh, start Ambari agent across all the machines. So Ambari an agent start. So do this on all the nodes. So node one. So node three worker 1 worker 2 and worker 3 also so i could uh, solve this issue ambari is uh, startup by adding uh, more time for startup i will show you how to how i did that so this is the one uh, startup timeout adjusting so there is a parameter server dot startup web timeout so this where parameter i can change the value and in seconds so this much second it will wait and uh, and uh, because in uh, the earlier error in error it was uh, i mean the exit exiting after uh, checking in uh, 50 second or something like that right uh, so here what i did i just open this ambari uh, server properties and come to the end and added that uh, startup web startup timeout so this parameter i changed to 
I mean added if already this parameter is not there you can add that and use this so 120 means it will wait two minutes so for startup so that error is gone so this is the file I edited so now I can turn on all the services I mean turn on in the startup suppose in case if my system goes down and reboot so this service should uh, come up and online so ambari iphone server on so if you are using rhl7 you, you have to use uh, cctl dot that other command not chk config so here i need to use chk config ambari agent on so this agent you need to turn on all all the nodes so here and uh, here and to here also and to here so that's it so now uh, I'm getting uh, this page Ambari page and they can continue the installation from Ambari so we have seen uh, how to do the installation of Ambari server and agent so with customized DB and uh, custom JDK so hope you are clear and if you have any questions so please use the comment box so also subscribe to this channel if you have not already done thank you bye